tell you a little bit about strength training and my love affair with strength training. Getting back to Dr. Cooper, he wrote the book on aerobics, but probably 20 years ago he came out and he says, as you age and every year you get older, and then every decade you get older, the bias shifts to strength training. So I'm gonna call somebody out in the room here. His name's Michael. Michael, stand up, right there. We were in the gym together. I'm like, yes, okay, so we were in the gym together yesterday. Now, he kind of nailed me because we didn't know each other, and I walk in, and I do five minutes, and then I leave, and he looks at me, and he goes, you can sit down now, Michael. <laughs> Sorry, unless you want to comment. But then he leaves, he goes, that's all you're doing? And I said, he goes, you can't be in good a good, that good a shape or something if that's all you're doing. Now, this is a little bit, I, I told him, I, I was just like feeling out the gym, you know, I was just seeing what it had. But here's the honest God truth about this. People, when you strength train, and you do functional training, and you do compound movements, it doesn't take a whole heck of a lot. And when women, for all the women out there that are afraid of weights, um, I always remind them, when people have their babies, they're lifting an eight pound baby, and then it's a 20 pound toddler, and then it's a, th you know, they're, you're lifting groceries and you're lifting suitcases when you came here. So this idea of strength training keeps you, you talk about woman power. Strength training keeps you young and vital because everything in your body revolves around muscle. We think it's just like your bicep to your tricep, but think about it. All your internal organs, your intestinal tract, your heart's a muscle. But what we need to do is realize that strength training, as we get older, something happens called the great decline. And the great decline is that every year after the age of 30, by the way, so it's not that old, after you start to lose muscle mass. And that accelerates. And by the way, Dr. Mercola has a great newsletter out today talking about this very thing, how every single year, you start losing uh, muscle mass. And that uh, an, an average person can lose seven pounds of muscle every decade. Well, when you lose, lose the first five or 10% or even 20%, not a big deal. I mean, you're just like, you feel like, eh, that's when women say, or men also, oh, I'm getting a little bit uh, soft around here. Uh, and that's when you say, oh, my arms are a little bit. And we're still focusing like cosmetically. What we're finding, when you get down to losing 50% of your muscle mass, that's where life becomes harder. That's where it's harder to climb, that's harder to climb stairs. It's harder to walk places. It's harder to lift things. It's harder to balance. All those things become harder when you lose strength. And I'm not just talking about the cosmetic muscles. I'm talking about those stabilizing muscles, and I'm talking about those internal muscles. So the thing is, strength training is so, so important. So I'm just gonna recommend that everybody, no matter what your age, you know, pick, have some weights underneath your bed because honestly, and I didn't mean to pick on you, Mike, but I, honestly, you don't have to do that much, but you have to do it regularly. And, um, and, he, and here's why. It, it maintains muscle mass, you can prevent osteoporosis, it helps prevent diabetes. And the list, you can just read down the list, but especially in your profession, and you guys know this, so I'm talking to the choir, when it comes to core strength, as, as that relates to back and back pain is so important.